Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. I have decided to stick to love, hate is too great a burden to bear. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Faith is taking the first step even when you can't see the whole staircase. If you can't fly then run, if you can't run then walk, if you can't walk then crawl, but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward. But I know, somehow, that only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. Let no man pull you solo as to hate him. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but he must take it because conscience tells him it is right. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Intelligence plus character that is the goal of true education. Everybody can be great, because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. A soul generated by love. No one really knows why they are alive until they know what they die for. We must come to see that the end we seek is a society at peace with itself, a society that can live with its conscience. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. A man who won't die for something is not fit to live. Forgiveness is not an occasional act, it is a constant attitude. If a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as a Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Those who are not looking for happiness are the most likely to find it. Because those who are searching forget that the surest way to be happy is to seek happiness for others. Now there is a final reason I think that Jesus says, love your enemies. It is this, that love has within it a redemptive power. And there is a power there that eventually transforms individuals. Just keep being friendly to that person. Just keep loving them, and they can't stand it too long. Dato, they react in many ways in the beginning. They react with guilt feelings, and sometimes they'll hate you a little more at that transition period, but just keep loving them. And by the power of your love they will break down under the load.